my biggest challenge that I faced during the pandemic was standing in front of the fifth graders and teaching math. And at first, I was a bit afraid. I thought I was going to make a, mis make a mistake, but then I asked God to help me overcome my fears and he helped me. McAtee, why were you in the classroom teaching? Since it was closed, um, we had an opportunity to teach the little kids. Mm -hmm. And my biggest challenge was teaching them at the same time, making them to focus on the lesson. And it was a very, it gave me a headache most of the time. And it taught me how to be a leader. Good. I think over the pandemic, one of the biggest challenges was just the fact that we couldn't be with people. Um, so much of what we do is just um, hinged around life on life. And so the fact that we couldn't be around people, um, be rubbing shoulders with them, um, was really a unique challenge that we kind of had to overcome. And I think we're still going to be overcoming a lot of that in the fall um, as we look to this next semester. The biggest challenge I faced um, during the pandemic here, I'd say, for our ministry when it's all about bringing people together and coming in groups and being in different villages and traveling to bring people together. That's that's obviously a challenge when um, we're trying to protect people and keep distance. So that was challenging in trying to figure out what is the best way to minister in this time. And then coupled with that is just when there's such a great need in the best of times with healthcare here and supplies, really trying to um, be wise and prayerful about a, the best way to focus any assistance and outreach that we could do for the best use. Well, that is easy for us, um, opening a youth home during the middle of a pandemic. So many of you know that we have partnered with Avenue of Life to open a house in Wyandotte County for um, homeless teenagers and that there are a lot of them in our county. Um, and it has been really difficult to open this home during the middle of the pandemic. But with lots of work um, with the health department and lots of work with our school districts, we are able to bring in our teenagers on September 14th. So by the time you're seeing this, our house will be up and running. But it has sure been a challenge to figure out all of the moving pieces during this time. It was certainly a challenge, but in one way it was easier for us because we were already wearing masks. The pollution here was so bad that we had to wear masks anytime we left the house anyway. So we're thankful that Thailand has not had as much of a spread. But initially, uh, everybody was terrified and there was some spread, so the preaching had to change to be completely online. Uh, and then, then we went to the next stage where we, uh, I would get as far away from people as possible, like in the corner, and then yell at them. And then now we're back to a more of a normal style of preaching. Probably the biggest challenge was having the desire and the resources and not being able to help all of our students in need. Prior to COVID, Missional Meals provided around 170 meals a week to students in need. After COVID, Missional Meals provided 60 meals a week to students in need. There's one other challenge I want to share. We have so many dedicated volunteers at OP, and due to the safety measures required by the schools, we just weren't able to use everyone that was willing to help Missional Meals like we normally. 